What's up, my people? This is Victor Isibo Reviews once again. Uh, and I come through with another review of another make money online opportunity in Nigeria. And uh, this one, they call them Poyoyo Investment. This is not Atutu Poyoyo. The name is funny, but you don't judge a book by its cover. Before I begin this review, I will start the exact way I start all my reviews. I am not an investment advisor. I'm just a Nigerian who loves to invest and do his due diligence before he does so. And I take you by the hand with me to review these investment opportunities together. Now, we may look the same, but we may see differently. So, you are meant to do your own personal research before you invest. And the final decision of whether you invest or not is entirely up to you. I will take no responsibility for your investment decisions. So do your own due diligence always because my conclusion and analysis is not perfect. Okay, so do your own findings and always invest only what you can afford to lose. Now, this is Poyoyo Investment and this is their website. And you can see on their website, they have said that, you know, they accept... Uh, they accept investments uh, between 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. every day, okay? So this is the time when they ad, uh, accept investments, okay? And you can also see here, boldly written, uh, their support email uh, popping up on your screen there, okay? And um, quickly, let us go and, you know, have a feel of their website and let them talk to us okay as you can see here they are they are registered uh their registration number is 1758808 that's the corporate affairs commission's registration now so uh very quickly we would um, go into the rest of the website to see what they're about peel vest peel vestment yeah peel vestment he said, welcome to Poyoyo Investment Limited. Invest and get 20% profit every 30 days. Okay? 20% every 30 days is what they have on offer. He said, they have a team of professionals. They are fast with their response with great results. They are a great investment platform according to them. Accountability and transparency. Okay? So, uh, very quickly, uh, we are going to... Uh, Look at their packages. It's a simple interest package. Uh, get 20% profit on every capital in 30 days. Okay. So now, uh, if you invest with uh, 100,000, uh, you're going to get 20,000 naira. And um, you get your capital plus ROI back after 30 days, which is 120,000. 300,000 yields 60,000 naira uh, profit in 30 days. You get your capital and profit back together. 500,000 gives you 100,000 profit. 1 million gives you 200,000. <clears> 5 million gives you 1 million naira. 10 million gives you 2 million naira. 50 million gives you 10 million naira. And uh, the minimum you can invest with Poyoyo is 100,000. They said, please note, you can invest any amount of your choice. The breakdown is just for explanation, but the minimum investment is 100,000, which means that apart from all these packages, these amounts that they wrote, you can actually invest any amount of your choice and you will earn. That means you can go with uh, 150,000, which is not written here. You can go with 350, you can go with uh, uh, 240, 110, 120. Just know that the minimum is 100,000 and the maximum is 50 million naira. Moving forward, they say the services they provide covered in these areas. They said the money market, okay, they invest in technology advisory. Uh, the, these are some of the places where they invest in. Of course, they have. They talk about venture capitalism. Uh, they also talk about portfolio management and uh, lots more. So they said, as at the time of making this video, they have 5,200 investors. Now, 5,200 investors in a company operating in a country of uh, about 200 million people tells you that they do not have too many investors yet 
I am always talking about saturation. They are far from saturation at 5,200 investors. Trust me, there are lots and lots of opportunities for them to get more and more people. So uh, now they said uh, something about us. Poyoyo Investment Limited is aimed at giving our investors financial breakthrough and freedom by taking calculated risks on our investment strategies, the security of funds, and the satisfaction of our investors is our utmost priority. So here you see the uh, Poyoyo team. I'm presuming that the man who is wearing white seated in the middle uh, is their CEO. Uh, yeah, from what you can see. Uh, we're not concerned about who the CEO is. We are mostly concerned about their modus operandi. They said they have uh, subsidiaries, they have uh, Manopoc, or they have, uh, they do property listing, listing property development, short lead apartment, property sale, and property rent. And they talk about testimonials, which we cannot confirm if they are true or not. Uh, this, is, this is the CEO, I presume, uh, seated in the middle that we saw earlier. Kunle uh, Adiswa Poyoyo. So this is the face of the CEO, a young man, very, very young man, uh, from what we can see. Uh, going on, uh, you have uh, their physical office addresses at number 40 or Badishida Road, beside First Baptist Church, Akure, that is their headquarters, and they have a branch in uh, Suite 209B DBM Plaza, plot 138 to 1384 Aminu Kano Crescent Wuse to Abuja. And of course, they have an address at Hive Mall, plot 16 TF, Kuboye Road, Oniru, VI, Lagos. And of course, you see their phone number there. Uh, and you see the email of their supports there. Okay. And um, first of all, basically, looking at this, 20% monthly um, is a little bit on the high side, considering that they are not trading in the volatile markets of crypto and forex, which generates huge profit and can also generate massive losses as well so i'm i'm seeing them do going into properties and all that but i don't know how feasible it is for you to invest in real estate stocks and bonds and generate 20 percent monthly i don't know i personally i don't think that is feasible but i had the opportunity of interacting with their customer service uh person who was on duty asking very key questions and um, those key questions, you are going to see our chat uh, on your screen very quickly. Okay, so I said, hello, support. And um, I said, I have a few inquiries to make. And the response I got was that, good morning, sir or madam. Thank you for contacting Pillvestment. All right, sir. And I went ahead to say, please, where do you invest investors' money? And I also asked again when I didn't get a response immediately that are you regulated by the Securities and Exchange Commission of Nigeria? Because the Securities and Exchange Commission of Nigeria is the body in a layman's language that gives you the go ahead to solicit for public funds, invest for them and give them passive income, which is like securities offering. Yes, you have to have the go ahead of this government body to you know offer securities to the people and the response i got was that first of all to the first question they say they invest in stocks bonds commodities and real estate how you generate 20 percent by you know investing in stocks bonds commodities and real estate every month i do not understand how that works real estate is a long-term investment stocks and bonds i don't know where they pay up to 20 percent in a month I do not know where you are going to be able to generate 240% from stocks and bonds in one year and, and from real estate as well. Uh, I do not know how that works. And they also went ahead to say ongoing sec regulation, stage three or five. Now, when you say you have ongoing sec regulation, stage three or five, it's like a driver driving on a highway. You are in a vehicle, a driver is driving you, and you ask, do you have a driver's license? And the driver is telling you that, oh, my driver's license processing is ongoing. Stage three or five. 
whoops, and you're driving me, you are operating in illegality. You're offering securities, but the Securities and Exchange Commission has not given you the go-ahead to do so. You're in the process. Why don't you finish the process before you start offering securities? And that was my comment. I said, SEC registration is supposed to be on hand before offering securities for avoidance of issues with government who have shut down many companies like you. I said, it's like a driver telling you he's working on obtaining his driver's license, but meanwhile, he's already driving. And the response I got is that it's been processed, sir. Okay, so I went ahead to say, how safe is investors' funds? Because I have lost a lot. Any insurance that protects investors' money? And I also said, or a backup reserve in case of emergencies. And the response I got was that leadway insurance. We treat clients' money with top caution and security. If we're not sure about a certain move, we'd rather not make the move at all. Eight months reserve if we don't make $1 profit a day. And I went ahead to say, I feel investors should be availed the exact insurance policy and what it protects. Is it protecting your own assets for you or protecting investors' money with a refund policies? These are issues. Then I went ahead again to ask, are you cleared by CBN and EFCC anti-money laundering section department? And after about... Um, after about eight minutes of silence, I asked, are you there? No response. Then three minutes later, I asked, can I get a response, please? This would be my last question. And I did not get any response again. So I believe that the young man or young woman responding feels I am asking too many questions. Okay, maybe I'm asking too many questions because before finally making this video, I gave a window of up to like two hours awaiting a response and I could not get any. So I do not want to assume that they do not have CBN go ahead, neither do they have EFCC anti money laundering clearance. I do not want to make that assumption, but I did not get any response any further responses from the customer support the moment I asked this question. Now, this company has no SEC. I asked about CBN and EFCC clearance. I got no response. So probably these guys do not have these clearances to operate. I do not know what the investment climate in Nigeria is like, where a company has no regulations whatsoever, but they're in business anyways. And when you ask them, what are you doing about your registrations, they tell you, it's coming soon. Now, I give my quick uh, conclusion about this company. Now, the regulation, I do not even want to talk about the 20% that they are paying monthly, which I think is extremely high and not feasible. But then again, let's talk about the registrations with the regulatory bodies, the relevant regulatory bodies. Now, if you don't have these go-ahead, these clearances by these government regulatory bodies even if you're making profit from what you said you are doing the stocks the bonds the real estates the commodities they can shut you down and investors would lose their monies now we've seen this several times in nigeria and we've seen this with many investment companies cropping up especially the fx investment companies who come and offer you ridiculous rates and at the end of the day you find out you are making a loss. Now, Poyoyo Investment is going to be trending soon because majority of the investment companies have shut down and I see people are gravitating towards Poyoyo Investment. And now, these, the 5,200 investors they have, that number is going to increase soon because some persons are addicted to investing. And what they don't do very well is their feasibilities. They just want their money to work for you, which is not wrong, but we need to look at where we put our monies. Now, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'm afraid I'm scoring this company a 2 over 10, which is poor, which is poor because you're not regulated. Your return on investment is too high within a very short free, uh, frame of time. Short time frame, you're offering 20% in, in a year. You're, you're, you're offering 240% return on investment. And you're, you're giving back capital immediately 
with the return on investment every month. How are you able to liquidate your investments in real estate every month? <sighs> Stocks and bonds, most times, even US stocks, they offer you 8% to 10% per annum. Per annum. And these guys are offering 20% in a month. In a month. These are gray areas for me, and it doesn't go down well with me. I don't have a good feeling about this company. These are the gray areas for me, but it's up to you because it's your money to make an investment decision whether or not to invest with this company. If you like this video, give it a like, share it with everybody within your circle who loves to invest. If this was your first time, subscribe. There's more from where this came. Till I see you in the next one, I remain Victor Esibo. I am out for now.